Well, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Um, one of the things that we see a lot on our aircraft that have been worked on by non, non grummets is we'll see the front canopy seal, and it will be glued on usually like this. It'll be perfectly flat. Glued on there, completely wrong. If you look very carefully at the bevel, and there is a forum post, you can see that one end, and this one is to the right, is tapered to a point. Well, this seal actually goes on the aircraft like this with the big flat part out here and that's where the glue goes nothing on the inner side so that when it meets up with the double bead seal this leading edge jams up against it okay here we are back and and here is the double bead seal on the aircraft so that when it's properly on the canopy when it comes in on the canopy it actually runs in here and runs right up against the double bead seal and it's pushed in any water that comes in through here is now funneled through the outside and funneled in right through the outside and all the way out the aircraft. So take a look. When it's on the airplane, once again, it should be sitting, it should be sitting just like that. Now this is just a piece. I'll be putting a new one on. But first we have to come back and clean all the glue off and get down to bare metal and start over. But anyway, that's an issue on our Grumman's. Again, this is the Grumman Pilots YouTube channel uh, for the Grumman Pilots Association. I'd like to thank you for watching. Have a good day flying. Well, while we're on canopy issues, um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk a couple of canopy issues. The front of our canopies have a double bead seal, and it's called because there's two beads with a piece of metal in between it. And this bead is supposed to have some give to it. Now, this is an indoor kept airplane, and this bead seal is nearing the end of its life but we do have them come in completely flat. This double bead seal works with the canopy seal that we're going to be talking about next. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk a little bit of how we're going to go about putting a new canopy seal on the canopy and this time orating it correctly. Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to get a, a scraper and we're going to remove all the material that's on here. Then we're going to come back with some xylene, which will soften all the contact cleaner that's this yellow, bring it down to bright aluminum with some roll locking. And then the other product we'll need is alcohol. The alcohol will actually clean the talcum powder that's on the manufacturing. After they make the uh, seal, they put talcum powder on it so it doesn't stick together to itself. You have to remove that to get a good, good glue contact. So we'll be using xylene to remove the old contact cleaner, alcohol to clean the talcum powder off of the canopy seal, and then we'll be putting it back on by putting contact cement. In this case, it's just weld wood. Contact cement available at your Home, De uh, home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, Hobby Shop. And then we'll be putting the new one back on. So stay tuned. We'll, we'll be back in a moment. So all we did was took a white shop rag and put some xylene and ran it all over the thing. Now we're coming back with our, our gasket scraper. And as you can see, we're just scraping the old material off. It comes off fairly easily. Xylene is great stuff. It attacks all the contact cleaners. And a lot of times it takes it down to such bare aluminum like this, just a light hand scotch briding and some cleaning with um, acetone to get it down. Um, acetone, sorry, lacquer thinner to make sure there's no oil or anything left and we don't have to come back and mechanically roll lock all this off. So as you can see, it comes off fairly easily now that it's been xylene. We're going to go ahead and finish up removing all those island. We'll be back for the next step. Okay, we've cleaned it all down. <clears throat> the trick is just giving a xylene enough time to work, three to five minutes. Uh, the last little bit, it soaked in so much, I was just able to take my thumb and rub it along and just rub it all off. So now we've removed it all. Now what we want to do is we want to take all this talcum powder off of the uh, new canopy seal. And to do that, we're using rubbing alcohol. Just taking a white shop rag, pouring on some alcohol, enough to go on both sides, pull it along, that's one way, and then I turn it over the other way and go one more time. Lay that up to dry, and now that, just going to check it all one more time. Don't want to have any talcum because that's going to affect the bond and it's not going to hold. Uh, people go all the time. These are so hard 
to install. They don't want to stay. The glue doesn't want to stick. And we go, do you take the talcum powder off? And then later when they're sticking, oh well, my two seals are sticking on You just um, put some talcum powder on the seal back and it will not stick anymore. So that takes care of prepping the surface. And now we're going to go ahead and take our contact sealer and we're going to start, if you'll notice, we have two ends. We have the end that was on the outside of the roll and then the inner center part. You're going to be cutting about this much off. So we always start on this end and in this case that's going to be this way. Notice how the seal goes up and there's a, again, that's that little point and we're just going to position it and glue it in place. We'll be back in a minute for the... So here we are applying the contact sealer, uh, sealer to each part. The nice thing about these small bottles is the brush is exactly half the width. So you're putting down just the right amount. You don't need to put it on all of it because remember the seal only sticks to one half. Unless you're doing it wrong, then you will be gluing it to the whole thing. So we'll just work our way along putting contact sealer here and then we'll lay the strip out over the wingtip and apply contact sealer. Sealer, let them sit for five minutes, then they'll be tacky, and then we will glue them together and they won't move. Stay tuned. You'll notice that we're all back to being clean again. I was about a third of the way through putting the contact sealer on when I realized it was running and moving around, and that tells me that I forgot to clean with lacquer thinner to get all the xylene off of the metal. So now we're down to bare metal. I'm going to start laying out contact sealer. So be sure you take that xylene off it eats into the contact cement. doesn't do any good to leave it on the metal and try to apply contact cement right over it. That's a little tip. Don't ask. Okay, now we've glued it to the canopy and in a couple of places we've come back and put a little piece of blue tape. So while the contact cement cures, it can't slide in because we gave it a little bit of stretch around the curves. It's flush with the outside of the canopy. Not a problem there. So while the tape cures, I'm going to go grab a razor knife and a pair of um, industrial scissors and we're going to go ahead and um, trim the two end pieces and the center for your latch and trim off the excess that we have right over here on this side. We're going to trim that off. We'll be back momentarily. So here's a little shot of all the blue tape actually holding on the canopy while it seals overnight. I've turned it around so we can't knock it over and we'll just insert this again. Okay, let's trim off the excess. See if I can do this without kicking everything over. So we just want to line up with the bottom of the canopy. That trims off our excess. I'll come back and find that with a razor knife, but then right here we trim back. Take a razor knife, find our end. I'm going to wind up doing that with scissors. It's going to be quicker. Done. Now, we can do the same thing in the center where the latch goes. I'll try this from the back side. You just don't want to do anything to interfere with your canopy latch, so make sure you're right at the edge of the metal for the latch assembly. Okay, so now our canopy latch, and then finally we'll trim the last little bit. and we are done. So we'll let it cure overnight just to be on the safe side. Then I'll come back and remove the blue tape and then any final trims to make it really nice and neat with the razor knife. But you get the idea and that is how to replace a canopy seal properly oriented so it meets with the double bead seal and does a really nice job of closing 
uh, and locking and sealing water out of your airplane. Again, thanks for watching Grumman Pilots' YouTube channel. Directly supports the Grumman Pilots Association, your GPA. Have a good day.